law has been passed that will allow greater protections for tenants against landlords when it comes to rent gouging and evictions. 23 ABC's Leslie Gooden has more on the win for renters and the concerns tonight from real estate investors. Leslie. The governor has just signed a new law that will limit rent increases annually to 5%. Today I spoke with a local landlord who says they are disappointed in this bill because of the long term financial impact. If you were hoping to see those assets appreciate, your multi-unit rental income uh, properties appreciate over time, then uh, you should be concerned about this law too. Sheza and her son William Gordon are landlords, and they also serve as real estate agents for Watson Realty. Sheza Gordon says when they heard of the passing of the new law today, it was shattering and feels that landlords are forgotten about. Extremely unfair to the hardworking people who support, you know, this economy, who stabilize economies and investors are a big part of real estate and those are the people that you don't want to lose. Governor Newsom signed the assembly bill 1482 into law in Oakland today, which will allow renters for the first time in California to receive protection. It will restrict rent increases annually statewide to 5%, including inflation. The law will be good for 10 years, and then it will have to be revisited for renewal. Cost of living. It's the supplemental poverty index, the cost of housing being that common denominator. It is the issue that defines more issues than any other issue in this state. You can't have a homelessness conversation without having a housing conversation. This new law will also not allow landlords to evict tenants without a just cause who live there for a year unless they have outright broken rules listed in their documented leases. Housing stock against gentrification and conversion. And then, yes, we have to address the issue of production in the state of California. We need to build more damn housing. The body of the law also includes exemptions for both the rent cap and the just cause evictions for housing built in the past 15 15 years, single family residencies, unless owned by a real estate trust or a corporation. Doing a really nice remodel, interior, exterior, uh, even just maintenance, uh, they may be disincentivized from doing so because their ability to recoup those one time expenses that they're shelling out money for now is going to be limited uh, by their inability to increase rents accordingly. The new law will go into effect on January 1st of 2020. Live in studio, Leslie Gooden, 23 ABC News, connecting you. The Kern County 